Wake up. Something has happened. The spirit of fire is in a situation I could not anticipate. I'm certain Professor Anders would enjoy that little admission. So let's keep it between us, shall we? We've been adrift for just over 28 years. I've made quite a few repairs while you were sleeping. So ship systems are 100%. Cryo worked well, and med stats on all remaining crew are green. As for me, well... Regulations are clear about final dispensation at the end of an AI's seven-year lifespan. I took care of my own arrangements rather than wake you. I didn't want to... Well, I hope you can forgive this final breach of protocol. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, sir. Do look after everyone for me, would you? Goodbye, Captain. Serena out. I'll need to get down there. Immediately, of course. Good morning to you, too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you, too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our yeah. astro navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <laughs> We didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago. Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there... ...must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. I'm sorry, I can't play it for you, sir. The message has an encryption scheme we haven't seen before. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But we do have a rough location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Reporting, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Roger that, yeah. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant Force here? Covenant? No, 
Why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. Danger close. On our location. Trailing north. Commence five seconds. Interesting plan. Understood. Archer missiles inbound. Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter. Captain of the Spirit of Fire. You're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? Isabel, report. <laughs> Sir. Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. None never returned. Until he did. 
And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time, Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us, but Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. That's what you're up against. And all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her? We need to run as far and as fast as we can. We are just one ship. And an old one at that. But here we are. 30 years past what anyone could ask of us. Our war is gone. The lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. And now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us, battle after battle, fighting side by side, together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they'd ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. And that is always worth fighting for. <laughs> Stop Atriox now. We leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So no, Isabel. We won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. Get those guns back inside. Hold the breaches in sector 12. Jennings, get those hatches closed. Where are we on that hull breach in sector 17? ETA 60 seconds. Engineering is dead. Show me the contact one. Starboard's guns are down. Captain. Hard to do my best work like this. Can't we fight back? Carrier, just release more bandages. Um, are we fighting back? We are, Professor. Let me handle that. You just give me the update on the arc. Starboard guns are down. Coax 
the nest, didn't we? We did. Evacuate and vent. How long can we keep this up? Not long. We're losing too many guns. At this rate, it'll be over soon. I think I found a way to get help. You can reopen our portal? No. We're going to Mega Halo. What? I've discovered the Ark keeps an almost finished ring in its central forges at all times. It's an emergency replacement in case one of the other rings breaks down. Rings. You must mean galaxy-destroying super weapons, right? Well, on that front, I figured out how to disable the ring's firing mechanism. We can only launch it to one of the locations of the original rings, however. Isabel, you said the Master Chief first found a ring near enough to reach. That would make you within range of a comms beacon. It could work. Anders, how long do you need? Twelve hours, if my calculations are correct. We don't have twelve hours, Professor. We might not have twelve minutes. We just can't beat that right now. I can. I'm gonna need a little help, though. Explain. Well, for starters, I need her down there with me. Isabel? Sorry, sir. I've been on the Ark a while. After recent battle reports, you should have figured out that there are rules around here. I intend to break one. A big one. We'll need to split ground forces between these two locations to buy me some time. You're taking control of ground forces now? Buy you time for what? That ship brought these monsters. Killed everyone I was supposed to protect. Now it wants to do the same to you. I won't let that happen. It's time to show them what power really means around here. Ringside seats before. Let's get to work. Our entrance wasn't exactly subtle. Okay. I just need to find their. Got it. Troops below are clear. I'm starting now. I promise you won't leave without me.
It's done. Time to go home. Whoa. You've been busy? Not as busy as you. The grav lift. What do we do? You. You hold on. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait! I'll do respect, Spartan. I don't believe that's an option any longer. Professor Anders, there must be some way... Don't worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. It should only be a few weeks. Professor! And then I can figure out how to get back to you. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. I kept it. Thank <laughs> you. 